There's some reports today, you know, that Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Julio Jones is actually on the trading block. Uh, to me, it's kind of interesting. Uh, what are your thoughts on Julio being on the trading block, and do you have any you know, possible trade suitors uh, for Julio Jones? Makes a lot of sense for me, for one, for Julio Jones to be on the block. Of course, you draft Kyle Pitts, a tight end, wide receiver tight end, do a, a combo a guy kind of. Uh, and, and I think both of us would agree that he was probably one of the most talented players in this draft, and it really wasn't even close. Um, dude's a freak athlete. He can he can place, replace Julio Jones in this offense and be very successful doing it. You also have a guy in Calvin Ridley who is capable of being a wide receiver one for your team. Russell Gage is over there playing really well. This is a team that has already had a very good passing attack, and Julio Jones is being paid a lot of money, and I, I think at this point you are starting to question whether or not his stamina and his ability or, and his durability overall is able to stay consistent enough for what he's being worth paid. So I think being able to get rid of him and moving on from all the money that he is you know, making currently from Atlanta will – save them a lot in cash space and allow them to really attack next year's free agency and get a lot of great players around them to hopefully restart to rebuild this roster. So I think it's a very good idea for, for Julio Jones uh, uh, or for the for the Atlanta Falcons to try to move on from Julio Jones after June 1st, of course, so they can save extra money from this contract. I think that um, as for contender teams like the Ravens, the 49ers, the um, – trying to think of more examples – I really think the Ravens and the 49ers are probably the two most likely teams. I would also maybe say the Patriots might be in that that league, maybe realm a little bit. Uh, maybe even a team like the Dolphins who can use more wide receiver help if they wanted to. Teams that are capable of being able to offer a lot of picks for a guy like Julio Jones. I think those teams that can really use him. He's going to be a guy that is – he might not be your feature wide receiver anymore. I actually think he probably, he probably still could be. He's still one of the greatest wide receivers in the league, I think, at this point. But um, I think his durability is more of a question at this point, so you might have to have a little bit more talent around him. Uh, I think a team like the Ravens is probably his ideal situation where he ideally goes for, for Julio. Maybe even a team like the 49ers as well. They have good – receivers you know Ravens have Rashad Bateman who they added Devin DuVernay uh, Marquise Brown no feature guy yet but they can have guys that can be feature guys maybe in the future same for the 49ers Debo Samuel Brandon Ayuk no true feature guy but two guys who could be feature guys in the future I think if you're going to let Julio Jones be added along those those one of those two corps he can really be fit really really well in that offense and add different you know kind of part of his game to their to their team and help continue to help balance the, their offenses out Yeah, Julio being traded to me, I'm not totally against it. The bad thing about this, you know, with his contract, though, like you mentioned, you know, it'll be a lot less uh, once at post uh, June 1st. You know, if that was not the case, I would not have been surprised at all. Atlanta were, were to trade him, you know, throughout the draft uh, last month. A couple teams to me that come to mind kind of saw the Aaron Rodgers situation. Julio to Green Bay, I think that makes a lot of sense, but... Packers have no cap space at all. We notice, you know, I, you know how people, you know, talk about free agents, you know, recaps, and you know what all teams did in free agency. So the Green Bay Packers, they're probably one of the least active teams in free agency this past season. Uh, they actually re-signed Aaron Jones, uh, surprised a lot of people, including myself. But because they signed Aaron Jones, they lost, you know, Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl center and uh, All Pro Corey Lindsley to the Chargers. Because, I mean, you know, he, was, he wasn't having a huge contract, but they just had no money uh, to sign him because they are a very difficult situation in cap space. Uh, I think Julio would be a great fit in Green Bay, but with the cap space situation, I do not know if that will work out. Another team I like is the Colts. You know, I was watching some uh, so, um, the Pat McAfee, Pat McAfee show earlier. He kind of mentioned the Colts. I like that a lot. I think the Colts are definitely a dark horse in the AFC. I think Wentz is going to have... A, you know, a breakout year really surprised some people. You know, they have T.Y. Hilton. He kind of surprised people and re-signed. They have Michael Pittman Jr., who I think has potential to be a really nice receiver, you know, from USC a year ago. Getting Julio Jones really gives another target for Carson Wentz. Um, I think that makes them definitely a Super Bowl contender. I think they're a Super Bowl contender right now, but that really helps their case a lot. And the last team is, you kind of mentioned them, the Patriots. I would love to see Julio with the Patriots. I think it makes a lot of sense. Because, you know, you sign some top-tier tight ends. You sign some wide receivers, but there is nobody like top-name wide receivers. Cam Newton, Matt Jones, whoever the quarterback is. You have, you know, Hunter Henry, and you have some nice targets. And then you add Julio Jones as well. Uh, something else to look into. Um, I do not really think this will happen, but this is just throwing this out here. 
You know, the Atlanta Falcons, you look at their team needs, probably their biggest need right now, you can make a case it's quarterback, and that's one of them. But the other one, in my opinion, is probably corner. Uh, something to look at, you know, the Patriots, you know, and Stephon Gilmore. There's one talks about possibly Stephon Gilmore being traded. He only has one year on his contract left. The Patriots can get away from Stephon Gilmore, maybe have a resurrection of his career going to the Atlanta Falcons, while the Patriots get a star receiver and Julio Jones, easily the best receiver since getting Randy Moss years ago in that historic season, a nearly the undefeated year. But Julio Jones to the Patriots for Stephon Gilmore, very underrated trade. You know, we don't really often see player-for-player player trades when they're not the same position, that's kind of something you more see and you, you see more in basketball. But I would love to see that trade. Uh, I think it's possible because, you know, the Patriots in the wide receiver, the Falcons in the corner, would really help out both teams uh, in the long run. I, I would really like to see Gilmore uh, for Julio and him going uh, to the New England Patriots.